Hello everyone! Today I want to present you my three-stage vacuum extractor for herbs. Um, the machine is finished now since a couple of weeks and I'm already extracting with it. You might ask yourself the question why it is standing outside in a self-made um, shed like this. It's very simple because uh, this contains up to 100 liters of solvent and um, uh, ethanol, uh, if it's in the gaseous form, can be very explosive. So I simply don't want to run that system in the house because if there is some accident, um, I could blow up the house and uh, that's something that I don't like. That's why I uh, made this wooden shed. So in, in the case of uh, an accident, I just blew up the shed instead of the house. Much better. Okay, so how does it work? You know, it works really simple. Um, I have here the boiling chamber. This is a band heater here. And each of that band heaters has a heating uh, capacity of 6 kilowatts, so 12 kilowatt in total. And this will bring the solvent to a boil. And um, the vapor will rise up here and of course also here. Here in this tube um, the herbs uh, to extract are included and the vapor will subsequently rise up here you know and start to condense here on that uh, actively cooled uh, lid here. So the spikes that you can see they are actually there to as um, basically nucleation points for the vapor to start forming drops. And on the last uh, etage there is uh, there are the, the condensers, the actual condensers. So the vapor is condensing at the lids and also what does not condense at the lid will condense in the actual condenser. Um, and everything runs on the on the vacuum. So that means before I start the system, I completely evacuate it up to uh, down to 200 millibar, um, and then I start the heating. So let's have a closer look on the system. Here you can see one of the two boiling chambers. So that's the first one, and here is the the second boiling chamber. And here is a close up of the of the heating mantle. You know, it has some ceramic elements and some heating wire inside and as I told it heats with about 6 kilowatts and brings the uh, solvent uh, to boil actually very fast. What you can see here there are some meters. The first one is a um, vacuum meter so it goes from zero to uh, total vacuum to minus one and the second one is uh, an overpressure meter. It goes from 0 to plus 0 0.6 bar. And here I have a meter again. It shows me temperature and uh, again bar. So they are pretty useful, these meters, to give me some uh, values during the operation. What you can see here is the vacuum system. You know? So down there is the vacuum pump and so the the vacuum comes here and here I can regulate the vacuum from the left side and also from the right side you know so to evacu evacuate both systems individually um, and you know I can um, dismount the top lid I can uh, or I have to, you know, dismount this thing here. They are having Teflon ceilings. And uh, yeah, this works actually pretty good to keep it tight. And from the bottom, let's have a look how it looks here. Here is the outlet. So here the ready made tincture can be um, ejected. Now we are going to have a closer look on these kind of things. So I'll take it out. Ah, come on. 
The long tube that you can see here um, is basically for a temperature probe to measure the temperature of the solvent. This is also a quite useful information. Here you see the, the Teflon sealing and it's simply put onto it, put screws on it and that's it. You know? These are the, the actual temperature probes here. Um, I measured the temperature with an Arduino. So this temperature probe is simply put into this hole here, you know, just completely insert it and that's it. You know, then I will have always the temperature. I can demonstrate this quickly. So I switch the temperature on and here this little thing here shows me the, the current temperature, you know, from the left and the right uh, boiling tank. Let's have a look here on the second stage. So as I already told, um, these kind of uh, tubes here will hold the actual herbal matter up to 10 kilos depending on the, on the volume and on the weight of the herb. But uh, here you can see now the, the lid. You see that there are, are many spikes on the lid and this is the case because um, there the vapor will condense and drop onto the herb. You know, if for example the, um, the condensation would just happen in the top condenser here and I have only here the backflow, so the, the, the solvent would just drop on the middle of the herbal matter. You know, that means at the side it would not get extracted. But with this kind of setup it's possible to have an, an evenly distributed um, extraction of the herbal matter. Now let's have a look inside these herbal uh, extraction uh, tanks here. Um, you see at the bottom there is a sort of um, metal plate with lots of holes inside. Uh, this is because if for example the herbs would just be totally on the bottom, they would clog up the system and there would be no flow through. So that, that's why I um, put these plates there and um, uh, with that kind of thing it, it works much better. This is the side view of the lid. So you see that the lid is actually actively water cooled. And above the lid there are the actual condensers. So these topmost tubes, the condenser, just contains um, a lot of small tubes where water is running through and uh, on these water cooled tubes the condensation will actually happen. So I have two main areas of condensation. It's first of all the lid and then whatever does not condense at the, at the lid and drops down onto the herbs, it will condense in the top condenser. My objective is today to make two kind of tinctures. The first one is a so-called Shisandra tincture and the second tincture is Kalmec tincture. Uh, the scientific name is Andrographis paniculata. And, um, I will show you the process. We are in my herbal warehouse now. So and now we have to find the respective herbs that we want to process. That's first of all uh, Andrographis paniculata, which I have seen here already. Yeah, that's it. And the second one is Shisandra berries. So they are, where are they? SSS. Schwarznuss, Schellkraut, Shisandra, there we go, okay. So these two I will coarse mill and in the next step I will show you the actual extraction. So what you can see here, that's a coarse mill and with this coarse mill I will grind the herbs a little bit um, to have a finer particulate and this finer particulate has an increased surface area which uh, basically makes the extraction faster. Yeah, um, let's have a look inside the coarse mill. You see that there are some rotating blades and these rotating blades are chopping up whatever is filled into the mill and some holes where the 
um, the chopped up stuff is falling through and it's running out here and the particle size could be set with the hole size so the smaller the hole size the finer is the resulting particulate and the bigger the bigger chunks the machine will produce turn it on and run it So now that um, the herbs are grinded down to a final particulate, we are going to fill them into these bags that I uh, have made for extraction. They are basically cotton bags. Uh, they look somehow dirty, but in actual fact they are just uh, painted from the, um, from the herbs. Because they will dye the, the cotton in all kinds of colors. And after a couple of usages they will just look brown but in actual fact you know that's freshly washed um, yeah the idea is to fill the herb in the bag put the herb in the machine seal everything put vacuum on it and run the system so the bag is finished and now it's time for the acrobatic stuff So the extraction system is now ready and assembled. The lids are um, fixed and the herbs are inside. And I applied vacuum to the system. Usually I run the system uh, at about 200 millibar because um, I found out that uh, this is a very good pressure and I have good results at that, um, at that level of vacuum. And what happens next is that uh, the solvent will be heated up when the solvent starts to evaporate the steam will come up here in this tube and it will start condensing on this lid here and whatever does not condense here will go to the second stage to the, to, to the second condenser there will condense there and run down onto the herbs um, all the liquid that condenses here and comes down from there will subsequently drop on the, the herbal matter and while the solvent is um, running through the, through the herbs it will um, extract the substances um, of the herb and subsequently the extract will come down here and run in this vessel here and this is a continuous extraction that means it's running all the time you know there, there is a circle fresh solvent comes up here runs through the herb and the extract comes down here and I can let the system run as long as I want uh, usually the extraction is um, complete after about 6 hour and 30 minutes something like that you know but this also depends on the on the actual herb, you know. Um, some um, leaf plants, the leaves of the plant, are usually extracted much faster, and some roots, for example, are a little bit slower. So Scutellaria bicarnensis, for example, will take about uh, eight nine hours, while um, whatever Calmec uh, Andrographis paniculata is usually very fast. Um, it will be extracted in about four hours yeah that's it now it will run over the night and tomorrow I can filter the tinctures and um, 
complete the. So now I'm coming to the last step. It's the filtration of the of the tincture, and this is performed with a vacuum filtration. Meaning, um, I have this filter flask here. Uh, I will filter through uh, cotton. Be beyond the cotton, there is a a coffee filter paper, and if you follow the tube, it goes into a uh, trap for excessive liquid so for example if I accidentally suck some liquid in here um, it should not destroy the vacuum pump so this is a, a basically just a liquid trap and uh, in order to trap the uh, the vapors um, I'm using this tube here it's filled with uh, activated charcoal so this tube goes into the vacuum pump it is down here and to turn on the vacuum pump, I simply need to push this button here and it's running. It's time to um, get the tincture.